Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 123 of my trailer Let's Play. In the last episode, we were over in the hollowed biome right here. We were relocating some water from underground to above ground to make kind of a pond there to fish for my quest. We also pulled some water from underneath in the frozen biome over here, just like vanilla. Like, I don't know why I keep referring to the term vanilla, but it's it's untouched. It's uncropped it's unhollowed. It's just regular plain jade. So that is for other fish that require a plain frozen biome. Uh, we were also playing around with the idea of platinum brick walls, and honestly, it's kind of growing on me. I, I kind of like it. Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's go do a little bit of inventory management. I think rather than doing a bunch of farms in this episode, I say I go check the um, what's it called the you know like the the jungle over here that we've turned into mushroom ground or mushroom biome. See if we can get some. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Oh yeah, way too much spooky wood. See if we can get some more truffle worms. Uh, right here should be the teleporter. Yeah, it is. And there's our jungle one. We also put some torches and stuff in recent episodes. And actually, you know what? While it's nighttime, let's get a look at this. Let's get a look at this. That's cool. I, I like it. I don't know about you, I think that's pretty cool. Get out of here, Mr. Possessed Armor. Let's see if we can get a truffle worm. See if we can kill some Duke fish runs. I would like, again, fish run wings. That's something I'm still really after. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind like all the loot he has. I'd like to see it. I have not I have not had the chance to play with half of the drops he's got. So, two fish on wings out there. There's something I really want. That's gonna really give me a lot more jump height and the ability to move quicker underwater. Are there any truffle worms that I was stepping on? No. Now an issue I'm running into when looking for truffle worms, just like off the top of my head, is there's so many mushrooms here that sometimes he's, he's kind of like hiding in them, if you ask me. Uh, I, I watched an episode back where I missed one, apparently, and he, <laughs> I totally missed him, no doubt about that, but I probably would have seen a little bit better if he wasn't like hiding inside of the mushrooms, so just clear that up. Now, are there any down below? Any up above? Is that a, a bat? I thought that was a bird. Also, there's water here. Let me get rid of that. I think it's kind of also making it a little bit more annoying to find one. Truffle worm, where are you? Again, we're really just waiting for my uh, my farm on the left, right hand side of the map to spread. That's taken forever. This water is not draining anywhere near as fast as I would like. Come on, water. How much water could there possibly be here? How much water could there possibly be here? Of course, there's not going to be any easy to get truffle worms. That'd be nice. Let's get this guy summoned. Uh, you need to really just hop off my dick. You need to stop that. That hurts. Okay. This is not. This is not a pleasure cruise. I'm not enjoying what you're offering. <laughs> These damn mushroom things. They go through walls, and you can't do anything about them other than like hurt them. That's just annoying. Okay. Any truffle worms on this path? New. No. Hmm. I feel like we should have had a truck worm already. To be 100% honest with you. If we can't, I do want to mess around with the whole platinum, platinum brick wall concept. It's going to take a lot of time to get working. Any truffle worms up there? They're very annoying to see. To be honest with you. Yes, yeah, so I just used a healing potion there. I'm taking way too much damage because I'm trying to look for these things. These damn monsters are spawning <laughs> everywhere. They shoot through walls and shit. It's kind of obnoxious. Any truffle worms? Any truffle worms at all? That's a snail. Well, that's bait, so let's get that. Kill the giant, whatever that is. Giant fungi bulb, fungi bulb. Is that a small fungi bulb? Just a regular one. Do they grow? Never actually pay attention to that. Come on, truffle worm. You know you want to. Well, let's go down. Let's go down below. See if we can run across any easy to get ones. Hmm. I go very slow because it's very difficult to pay attention to everywhere and look for the truffle worm. Like focus on actual gameplay. They're very small. They blend in. They do not blend in when they're outside of a mushroom biome, though. They glow. So the glow kind of adds to the difficulty of seeing them, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I'm old. Who knows? Uh, hmm. Not seeing anything. Yeah, let's still run across here. Let's see what we come across. Well, I, I think I think we don't find any right now. I think what I'm gonna do is go spend some time 
Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna find any. Let's go home. Let's mess around with the walls. Now, the annoying part is it's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to break all my torches down. I don't have to do anything with the backdrop. There's no problem there. But the torches are gonna have to get replaced. Good thing it doesn't hammer your your uh, you know like chairs and tables and things. If you start on the walls, he'll only hammer walls, which I love. That's so nice. What we'll do? I don't. I have, how many do I have on me? Only 75. Not too many. Let's see if that's enough to maybe make this room. I do have enough to make more. Absolutely, I have plenty of that. I think I have a crap ton of bricks on me. Or maybe I put them in a the chest. I don't know. Find out. I'm really liking this. I don't know why. I don't know why either. I just like it. And it works really well with the white torches. And this specific like right there, I believe. Yeah. Now, now I'm considering replacing the furniture. I don't, I don't think I put them in here, did I? I did. <laughs> Always check where I think I didn't put them. And we want the walls. Rich mahogany bathtub. Nice. Where do I make my walls? Crafting bench. Putting brick walls. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need platinum bricks for anything. I think you can always turn walls back into them, so let's just make a butt ton of them. A literal butt ton. And go over here in this room, and we're going to work our way down. Top down. And if there's a penis joke in there somewhere. <laughs> okay. And I like how as soon as I finish the walls, it gets dark in the room. Even then the door's open. Watch. Instant dark. And let's put the white torches right here, just because I keep using them, and come up, it's like right there, easy peasy. It's easy when you have a reference point right next to you. And again, let's just take out the walls. Now there's probably pearl, st or pearl wood walls inside of like the pearl stone walls here, but we're never going to see them, so I'm not going to worry about trying to hammer them. Let's just get rid of these, and we're going to leave that torch there. Actually no, no we're not. Okay. I'm just gonna do this one room at a time. Don't get ahead of myself. And yeah, I think we're gonna have enough walls. I mean, these are really easy to make. I have so much platinum. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this. Getting all the pearl wood to make what I wanted, that took a while, admittedly. It took a very long while. I need to do something about this open platform. I should, like, kind of close this off. I feel like it's letting monsters into my house and stuff. Not that they won't just spawn in your house when you're off screen anyway, but I feel like that'd be a smart idea. Oops, let's not hammer that. Okay. Get out of here, guy. Get out of here, Logan. Logan. And let's just do the top layer here. I'm not gonna go all out. I wanna bore you guys to death. Then we'll go check our farm on the right hand side and maybe get a quest. I think that's what I really should do right now is get a quest, because if it's a bad quest that I know I can't do, then we can let some time pass for it. Uh torch here, so come up from the middle and make it level with that one. Okay. Tell you what, let's get the quest, and then we'll come back. Ah, uh, he's right here. Why am I worried about that? I thought he was on the right-hand side. Dirtfish! Easy peasy one. Easy, 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 easy. We can do this one. I don't have a truffle worm on me, so any bait I have should just be regular bait. These ones we can get right here. So now I can test this out. Let's see what happens. Come on, Dirtfish! Dirtfish, you know you want to. Dirtfish, please. Dirtfish. Why is this taking so long? Bass. I really need to get a Frost Hydra down. Frost Hydra. Where are you? Why did I take you off my hot bar? <laughs> yeah, you, you can shoot him from right there. Okay, that's a good spot. Alright. Get that down and back to fishing. Don't have much bait. Hopefully we can get what we want. This is a big ass lake. I'm trying to test the theory here. Neon Tetra. We wasted another bait. I really don't have anything for bait. I really need to get on that. Fireflies really seem to work, but I haven't been getting many of them to spawn lately. That's kind of been the problem. There's always snails and stuff from down below, but those aren't exactly reliable. I think fireflies are the best source, but getting them to spawn is a pain in the butt because they'll have a monster spawns. I'm sure there's way better ways to go about that. Neon Tetra. I forget if I found out what those are used for or not. What do they say? Material? They don't say anything. They have, oh, I think they were just meant to be sold. I think we did come to that conclusion. And we only have one bait left. Oh, come on. This is an easy quest. 
Don't let the end of it be because I have no bait. <laughs> Come on. I think while I'm here, I'm just gonna go down, go down below and see if we can find up oh, wooden crate. So we we ran out of it. Only potion, garbage. Let's see if we can get away with another truffle worm while we're here. If not, we're gonna tell we're home. Work on our walls. And I think the next night, I think I do want to focus on bait because we're, we're completely out. And that's kind of a problem. Now there's like the grasshoppers who uses bait. Like right there, there's one came out of the grass. That's bait. And tell you what, did he? No, oh, he came out of. What grass did he come out of? The, was it like the vines or was it the grass on the ground? I think it was the grass on the ground. Well, whatever. Let's dig it up. See if we can get some more grasshoppers. We don't have to abandon the quest quite yet. Okay. There's three. That's three bait already. It's pretty decent. Glad we're not killing him, though. Accidentally. He seems to have, like, a buffer. That as soon as he's summoned, he can't die right away, which is nice, because otherwise you just one-hit him every damn time. That would suck. Truffle Worm. Are you? Come on, Truffle Worm. I have quests and things for you. By quest, I mean kill two fish run. Uh, on this level. Ow. Mm, and he is not on this level. Any above or below? God, it's, hard, it's so hard to see. At least for me. Yep, I don't see any of them. Tell you what, let's not abandon the, the dirt fish quest. Let's go back to the surface. See if we can get it with these three bait, or this, the three bait we have. I'd prefer to actually get this quest going. I do want to get the hotline fishing rod so we can actually do like the majority of quests. And then the gold fishing rod, I'm sure, would help. Yeah, I, I, I still don't understand the concept of bait power. I, I don't think I have gotten a definitive answer. Maybe I haven't looked hard enough, but... Yeah, not sure. Oh, should have got my Frost Hydra Town first. Crap. Pretty hurt. Come on, come on, I'm pretty hurt. I don't feel like taking any damage, no matter how stupid it is. Come on! Come on! Bob! Bob, damn you! Okay. Frost Hydra. That hurt. That hurt. Can't take any more hits. Kill you. Okay, get some free heals. Alright, now we're better. It's also because the damn raven's not there. I, forget, I always forget to spawn that little bastard. <laughs> really wish it would just stay on like the wisp does. Got a bass. So far this lake's not being very rewarding. It's my understanding that dirt fish were... You could get them on the surface. You didn't have to be underground, as long as you were in the jungle. Or bass. Maybe I'm just incredibly unlucky. You know, that could be the case. <laughs> Cross Hydra, you're missing every time. Dirt fish! Dirt fish! Yes. Sweet. Alright. Uh, where's the angler? Okay, here he is. Let's see him for a second. He's small. Fish hook and apprentice bait. Fish hook. What? Is it? Oh, it's an actual hook, isn't it? I wonder if it's any better. It doesn't appear to be. What's what's the what's the draw of this thing? It seems very small, like regular hook. That could be the case, because I mean you can get that theoretically on your first quest. Uh, I'm not really liking it. Uh, maybe if I find something else about it that makes it better than another one, I'll use it, but for now I'm just going to keep it in there. Neon Tetras, those were effectively just gold fodder, shop fodder. To combine that stack. Let them break, we do not want to get rid of you. Gonna have plenty of Pearlwood walls in our inventory. Uh, let's get back to the grind here. Let's get this off my inventory so the white torches always go there. Let's go ahead and finish up these walls. And then, again, we're now we're waiting for the next quest. We're waiting for the mushroom grass to spread over on the right. That'd be very nice if that would actually spread. It's been slow going. <laughs> but we'll get there eventually. And then I'm sure once that... It's going to be so easy to see truffle worms, though, when that farm is actually doing its thing. When that, when that farm does its thing, I mean, we only have to worry about one level. We don't have to worry about multiple little 
nooks and crannies like we do over in the jungle. That's why I'm making it. So I, it's going to be very difficult to miss a truffle worm. And if I do, then you can really laugh at me. But preferably, I'd like to not miss any. All right. Her, her name is Veridi? Verity? I thought it said verify for a second. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> and the shop guy, the merchant right there, you know, if he died, he could have an altar again. No easy way to kill him, unless a solar clip rolls around. I don't really summon a boss monster over here. One of these days, I'm going to summon boss monsters repeatedly and get my NPCs killed until we get Walter back. It's gonna have to happen. Uh, that's a perfect placement right there, and it goes right there. Okay, cool. I am liking that. And I was also messing around on the wiki, I was looking at different chests. I think we're gonna get rid of these gold chests in favor of probably obsidian chests. They look really cool. Like black and red, some like purple, like dark, dark purple. It's really cool. Wish there's a quicker way of getting rid of these walls without using TNT. <laughs> Can make a better hammer, I suppose. I really should. I've been sticking with this hammer for far too long. I'll tell you what, we've got the mats for it. What kind of? What's the best hammer I can make? Chlorophyte would probably be really good. Uh, is there anything special? Hammer. I can think of off the top of my head. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and smelt some chlorophyte. Okay, now, can I make a hammer? I don't even know if you can make a chlorophyte hammer. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like you can even make a chlorophyte hammer. Uh, you can make like an adamantite one. You can make a hollowed one. You should be able to make the ham... or. I can't remember what hammax. Yeah, I don't know if it's called a hammax for the hollow. Let's check. We got plenty of hollowed bars. I'm tired of using this crappy hammer. There's got to be something. Unless I need souls for it. Let's check with the guide. Guide, Logan, stay still. Uh, hollowed bars. What do you got? Pickaxe, axe. Not to be confused with the ham drill. This is axe power. Axe power. Are none of them hammers. Uh, the hammers are kind of weird. At least I'm pretty sure they're weird. They have like a little bit different than the other tools in terms of like recipes, and not everything has a super good hammer. I don't remember off the top of my head. I honestly don't. So, hmm, whatever. I'm gonna stick with pwn hammer for now. Pwn hammer is by no means the best hammer. I just can't think of a better one right now. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Her name is Fantasy. You know, I feel bad for you. If you went to high school and your name was Fantasy, the kids are gonna probably make fun of you. <laughs> Sorry to any people who have the name of Fantasy who are watching, but I don't see that going very well in school growing up. That would not be fun. That is a stripper's name. Well, let's be honest. And that is not where that goes. That's where that goes. Okay, and put this right here. No, get your speech bubble out of the way. I'm trying to place my torch. Come on now. Uh, the hammer. Let's just do this layer too. Screw it. Might as well while we're here. Right now we're waiting for the next day. When the next day rolls around. Oh wow. I'm so dumb. I dropped my hollow bars. Uh, whenever the next day rolls around, we're going to get another quest, obviously. Hopefully we can do it. I still need bait. Oh man. I really should just go see if I can get some fireflies. Yeah. Tell you what, let's do that. We're all over the place, I realize. Uh, seemingly the better place to get fireflies was over here. If only the monsters would stop spawning, that would make it very easy on me. I think they, I think the zombie spawns conflict with the firefly spawns. You know, there can only be so many enemies on screen at once, and I feel like when there's zombies, there can't be fireflies. Like, they, they cap it off, and then, oh, it's a full moon. It's gonna make things a little obnoxious. Uh, let's stay about over here. I think here's good. I know we were getting fireflies over here a lot, but it's the same type of biome. Shouldn't matter. Of course, we're going to have to kill these mobs. And hopefully free up some space for the fireflies. So, fireflies, if you want to spawn, now's the time. I'm not seeing any. There's a grasshopper. I'll take you. Your bait. 
I mean, we need bait. We absolutely do. Where you go down there? That's cool. Fireflies, where are you? And I really doubt staying up high enough to prevent other spawns. We'll get fireflies to spawn. And what I mean by that is, say I floated up here. Now if I float down, I doubt this is going to help speed it up. The theory I'm going here is, monsters don't spawn in the air, only fireflies would. There's a moonshine, we can sell that. Hmm, let's go over here. We, we know fireflies have spawned over here before. Let's give it a go. It shouldn't matter. There should be zero difference between biomes here. Hey, if a spot works, you stick with it, right? Let's just say. This is our our super terrible <laughs> mushroom gra or, uh, grasshopper farm. When I first learned about fishing. We got three there. Huh? Maybe it isn't super terrible. That's not that bad. Any here? There's one. Hey, it's better than nothing. I'll take it. While we wait for fireflies to spawn, that is. Oops. Any grasshoppers? Nay. Oh, there's one right here. Nope. You're not getting away. Stop it. Kill you guys. And do that. Any. One. Two. And nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. You're not getting away. Nope, nope, nope. We get any. Oh, we did get another one to spawn there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'll tell you I killed him. I think we killed him. So many werewolves! You guys can't you guys better not be messing with the firefly spawn. Better not have anything to do with the moon. I really doubt it, but anyways man, this game's got its ways. Well, I mean <laughs> we got a few grasshoppers, they're not exactly good bait power. They're ten percent, but that is better than ab nothing, absolutely. We at least have a chance that way. Any fireflies want to decide to, you know, spawn? Like, what if we stood here? What if we stood, like, right here? That help? Now we can still see the ground. <laughs> I love the razor blade thing. Fireflies! Maybe that did help. Two. Well, let's try that theory again, then. Let's stand right here. I like it that it's darker because it makes it very easy to see the fireflies. If you have too many torches, you know, you don't really see those little blips in the night, which is awesome. I love that they do that. Come on. Come on, fireflies. I could totally use more of you. I'm going to need much more bait. Much more. Oh, come on. Hey, did I see something up here? Okay, I'm crazy. I thought I saw a firefly. I wonder if they have a certain elevation that they can spawn. I wonder if they can spawn up in the air. Or if they have to be near the ground. You guys are taking up potential spawns. More fireflies, please. And we'll go get another quest from the angler NPC. Hopefully it's something we can complete. Hopefully it's something we can try using one of our farms for. That'd be cool. Ooh, I definitely saw a firefly. Cool. One. Get out of here. You're taking up spawns! Stop it! There's a frost hydra down here. I think that'll help. I don't think that'll attack fireflies because they're not hostile. That'll help me just clear the trash, basically. Another moon charm. Oh, that's money. Oh, I saw something blink over here. I'm seeing things! I think it was from the cursed sapling, to be honest with you. Hmm. Any more fireflies? This seems to be the good area, this part of the map over here. On the right. It's yielded the most results thus far, that's for sure. Hmm. Uh, I, feel like we, I feel like it's run its course. Let's go check for. see how much this has spread. No triform there, no triform there, no triform there. I do have a mushroom grass seed that I can use in my inventory. No truffle worms here. Huh. Okay. Now, do we want to dig another layer down? I think we do. Any truffle worms? Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, while it's nighttime, we gotta wait anyway. 
Oh, I love the Pixel. I love the Pixel in conjunction with Smart Cursor. It is a miracle of the universe. I say it all the time. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. But that's okay. That wasn't mushroom grass or anything. I'm not worried about it. And now, I mean, we could. We're essentially just waiting for a truffle worm to spawn up there. It spawns great. Okay. I really need a better way of telling time at night. I mean, with, with the whole uh, the whole angler NPC thing, I actually kind of care what time it is now. You know, I want to know. Hey, is it time to go get a new quest? I mean, you can make a watch, but I don't feel that that's worth an accessory or even an inventory slot. I think I'll just make do with what I have. I'll be lazy. I'll be stubborn. That's what we'll call it. Okay, I'm breaking some of that mud up there, I know. Uh, Frost Hydra. Kill the, kill the annoying trash mobs. Okay, and there is a pattern to this farm here, so I'm going to try and adhere to that. And that pattern was... You were the smart cursor. It was one block above my head, and then... Right here. This is this will be the next layer. Turn smart cursor off. And let me fix the boo-boo I made here. Okay. Some of the form. Not that I expect that. We're kinda in and out of a mushroom biome right now at this point. And now this is where we want to place it. Oops. I had to press shift there. And let's place these. This eventually, eventually, whenever this spreads, this will be really good. I mean, there's only one spot for them to spawn. They can only spawn on a flat surface, and there's a lot of flat surface. So we're going to get a lot of spawns. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> All right, th there's probably better ways to spread this. I mean, I, what I could do is get jungle grass, and I mean, jungle grass seeds are easy to get. I mean, I could go buy a thousand and one mushroom grass seeds from the Dryad if I moved her over to the Truffle's house, but eh. I'm not that worried about it. And I'll just put this in the middle, roughly, right there. Now that'll spread outward. That's another layer added. Let's go check the time here. Any easy to get truffle worms? I do not see one. Nope. So we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. <laughs> Keep my platinum bricks, obviously. Get rid of that. I need to put that bird away. I need to sell these moon charms. Okay. Check the time of day. See what's going on up here. All right, it's day, so that's a new quest. All right, angler and NPC, what do you got for me? What do you got? Get out of the way, you stupid cyborg. You're not even human. Dynamite fish. Now, I think that is plain underground cavern. Plain underground. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty damn sure. Can't imagine really there'd be any other area for that. But that that would be something I would think would spawn in a regular biome. Now let's put this fish in here, because why not? Quick stack anything I've got. Don't have much. Now, underground plane cave would actually be right here, so let's teleport to here. Oh god, I broke it. No! Well, you know what? That uses red wiring, so what we'll do... That's not something I want to leave broken. Where'd I break it at? That's the... That's the question. So now we have to run over, unfortunately. Eh, it happens. Can't believe I did it. Someone probably caught that earlier and made note of it. <laughs> I do record it in session, so I'm... I mean, I'm sure someone... Someone saw it. Uh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Whatever. We'll get there soon. What we're gonna probably do is get down there and wrap this one up. This episode's gonna be about 30 minutes. And that's typically where I cut it off. Alright, we're almost there. Uh, the water slows me down, but not when I have wings! Can't wait. I'm hearing birds. I think it's that bird. Blue Jay. I should capture it just for shits and giggles, just to have the Blue Jay, I guess. Yeah. Might as well, right? So many pixies spawning, holy crap. Why this many fireflies would spawn? <laughs> I probably should have just ran over. It would have been so much faster. Yeah, it absolutely would have been. 
<sighs> Why didn't I do that? Whatever. Live and learn. Okay, so this is still a thing. That's for... <laughs> uh, that's for my boss fights that I... Uh, back, back during the Frost Moon and Pumpkin Moon, which we still need to do. And how? How? Did I miss this? Okay, you know, if you're laughing in the comments from episode 2 back, y you've earned it. I don't know how the hell I managed that, but I did. <laughs> uh, looks like down here is where we'll want to go. Pixie, go away. I'm trying to go down here. Now what we're looking for is, I think, a layer below this. Like a ca different layer. Let's go down way deeper to the cavern or whatever. I think it's underground, then cavern. Let's go to the cavern. And right here is the biome change. You can see difference in backdrops. So, my guess, this is going to work right here. And this is actually the lake I think I was pointing out on the map that I said is big enough. There's a shield statue here. That's okay. So, let me open up the surface. I want to have more, more to work with. Uh, okay, that's plenty good. I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to summon you. And we are going to hopefully get a dynamite fish. I don't know how that would work. I don't know how being a dynamite fish works. That'd be very bad, if you ask me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's gonna happen. One of these days. Oh man. You slowpoke. I don't have a truffle in my inventory. Let's go. Alright. Well guys, I'm not gonna bore you to death with fishing. What I'm gonna do is wrap it up and begin a new episode. This was episode 123 of my trailer. Let's play. We got a quest for the dirt fish. We totally got that. We added an extra layer over there to the farm, and we added some more platinum brick walls here. I'm definitely liking them. They're pretty cool if you ask me. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.